You know, believe it or not, I'm not a huge fan of this sometimes. Because sometimes I look at what my schedule says next and I just go, God damn it, this is going to be annoying, isn't it? I'm really going to hate what I'm going to have to do next. All right, well, before we do anything else, let's sit down and take care of our weekly crossword. Uh, changes with the season. Oh, yeah, okay. Fair enough. I think I should be right. Uh, uh, v and E. Wardrobe. In Japanese schools, students change their wardrobe twice annually in the summer and in the winter for comfort's sake. It's said that the practice originated in China during the Edo period. People were supposed to change their wardrobe four times a year. All right. I see. Nice. Nice. We should rank up with this, right? Yeah, encyclopedic. Yeah, nice. We're smart as hell. All right, uh, let's go to... Uh... We're not gonna save it here. I'm, I'm gonna have to save it because I'm probably gonna have to reset really quick after I do this. Uh, darts and billiards? I think it puts me outside, right? Yeah, okay. I'll just add this. So let's go on and save it. Save slot 11 just in case. Nice. So first things first, we're going to go in. Welcome. Hey. What do you play? Uh we want to get a uh, a trophy really quick. So we're going to do darts. What do you want to do? You just gotta get the fuck in here. Hey, hey! Thank you! As I explained earlier, we're playing 01. Uh, we have five rounds to bring our score to zero, down to zero. And by doing as of here, the Phantom Thieves teamwork will strengthen. Hey. Okay, let's begin the team game. Well then. Let us then let us team up for the first match. Akira, chuckle. How exciting! As for the rules, let's go with 300. Let's go with 301. Everything starts with the basics. Let us go. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Indeed. Nice. My turn. <laughs> I revel in this feeling of tension. It's my turn. It's round three. Time certainly flies. Time certainly flies when you're having fun. Take it from here. I see. Ah. 
Nicely done. Nice. Let's go. All right. It's my turn. We have an opportunity to finish it here. My hand is shaking. Pretend like you're painting. I have it. You're right. Painting is about being in the moment. Yes, I can do it now. It's beautiful. Nice. Not bad. Oh, wow. Huh, fantastic. What do you think? Oh, that's too bad. Hmm. Anyways, I'll be right back, because uh, we're not going to be going with this. This is not what we're doing permanently. Uh, this was uh, actually for a variety of other reasons. Um, yeah, this is weird. So, technically speaking, I'm supposed... Technically speaking, if you want to get another trophy, which is Hustler's Journey, you need to play Billiards. But I kind of want to keep what I have. And technically speaking, Billiards isn't going to fuck anything up. Like, that stat bonus isn't going to affect me overall. So I might just keep what I have. I'm probably going to be playing Billiards later. I would recommend playing Darts. But choosing either is great if you're planning on playing Darts. Save your game beforehand so you can reload until you're... All right, I'm gonna keep it. All right, we're doing this again. Welcome. Hey. What are you playing? Uh, we're gonna do billiards this time. Hmm. What do you want to do? Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna play billiards. Thank you. Should do it for now. No kidding, he's got the aura of a pro. Have you played somewhere before? You do seem like you you do seem to know some unexpected stuff. I'll leave it to your imagination. Man, what a tease. I think we're in for a good show here. <laughs> I'm getting pumped. Alright, let's get it started. So that's what you mean. Hmm, what unique posture. I can see the keen beauty. Oh man, that was fun. My arms are killing me now. Glad to see everyone have fun. I gotta say though, wow. thanks to playing billiards, it looks like you've gotten better at analyzing situations. So the thing about doing billiards is that it'll raise up one random social stat, right? Now the thing about this is that this is not, uh, you know, this is not something that we, this is not something that you need to account for. And again, I only went back and redid this solely so I could get the trophy. That's like the only reason. Hey there, sorry to interrupt your fun. Billiards is having a lot of... Billiards has a lot of intricacies, doesn't it? I'm glad you've taken a liking to the game. If you'd like to learn more about it, there's a book I'd recommend reading. It's called Expert Billiards. It covers everything from the basics to practical applications. The problem is it's quite a rare book. You might have some difficulty finding it. You may have a better chance at getting it at a specialty shop that sells sports supplies as opposed to an ordinary bookstore. 
Oops, I didn't mean to hold you up right as you were leaving. Please, do come again. I see. See ya. Great, now I gotta go through all that again, don't I? Is it just me or are there tons of police here today? I've got a job you could do. You wanna hear more? Another psychotic breakdown? Oh, uh, you mean how they're increasing, uh, increasing security in Shibuya? They're the scum of society. Hurry up and arrest them. So, we meet again. But my what murky weather we're having. Speaking of murky, there haven't been any new developments in the Phantom Thief incidents. If they go so far as using calling cards to get attention, I doubt Madarame's case will be the last. What kind of target will they choose next? What do you... Uh, I think they're a criminal, if you ask me. The Phantom Thieves only target criminals, huh? Is that really true? Supposing it is, there are plenty of villains in the world. How do they choose who to go after? Hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own head. I have to stay on top of any Phantom Thieves activity due to what I said on the air. If you hear any rumors at school, I hope you can let me know. Aw, oh, for real? We didn't get anything? God, they suck. Hey, can't we ask Miss President to change it up? You mean, change our target? We just gotta show our justice to satisfy her, right? There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. She says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. But that mafia is stealing money from kids. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. Han's right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? I really have no talent. Never thought it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing. Anyways, I'm sure we'll shut a catchy up if we pull this off, but... That's exactly why we should do it. It all comes down to intel in the end. If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. There has to be someone who has what we need. That's right! What about that journalist? You mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? Oh, yeah! I completely forgot about her! Didn't she give you her card? This is for a rather major publication. Think we can trust her? There's no other way. Okay, let's contact her. Oh, yes. Thank you. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah? Eh, come on. Let's just go. <sighs> How wasteful. <sighs> Anyways, I guess we just gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. Let us know ASAP when she responds. Got it? Hey. You've been coming home late. Hope you're not sticking your nose in other people's business. <laughs> Chief's as sharp as ever. But it's more like we're the ones being dragged into things. All right, so uh, you didn't see it because I edited it out. But the reason why you saw me do darts and then saw me do billiards mm -hmm. was because there's two trophies I need to collect. And from this point onward, I can just do darts if I really want to. But they both kind of give you different things for doing them. So whereas like um, billiards will uh, 
Abilities will unlock technical ranks where darts will increase the will darts will upgrade the baton pass of whoever you play with. Hmm. So they both have a purpose. I'm probably gonna stick to darts from this point onward, but they either one is useful. It just depends on what you want to do. So our goal today is we gotta go pick up a book. You can't get this book unless you do billiards. Which is why you're which is why I'm supposed to get the trophy for darts. Re uh, reload my save and then do billiards because I can't get this uh, book otherwise Welcome. yeah see now it's here it wouldn't be here otherwise Jesus that is fucking expensive god damn 48,000 for a jump cue fuck why is that so expensive for nigga that shit that's that's hella expensive what the hell Expert Billiards. Next thing we need to do is we're going to go back to Station Square. And check out the Lotto. Oh, shit, I won. Oh, I won 300 yen. Nice. I can't be too upset. Oh, yeah, Jesus. I won 300. I, God damn, I made a tenth back. Damn it. Fuck it, I'll buy another one. Fuck it. I'm already, I'm already locked in now. Shit. Uh, Shibuya Station. We're going to go back to Yongin and uh, head back to LeBlanc. Now we're gonna call Kawakami. Hi. Ah, hold on, it's you. I barely get any customers on rainy days. You understood what I told you last time, and you still want to request me? Yeah. So get your happy ass over here, girl. Hey. I got the money. You know what? That should be the big thing she should be questioning my ass on. Is where do I have all this money for? Damn. Come on over. Come on, girl. Get your ass over here. <sighs> Fine, I guess I'll have to properly talk to you about it. Just wait for me there. Bitch, we, ain't, bitch, we ain't got nothing to talk about. Jeez. Are you serious? I told you about that story about my sick little sister was a lie. You know, you're being used for money and you still request me? It's fun. Huh? Are you an extreme masochist or something? You really are one strange kid. I'm a mediocre teacher and a mediocre maid. And yet you still listen to everything I have to say. You're you're the complete opposite of me. I can't even properly attend to my students' needs. So the money is actually an apology. There was a student named Ta Takase at the school I taught at before Shujin. Takase-kun was considered a problem child since he had the lowest grades and skipped school a lot. So I was put in charge of guiding him, or rather pushing him to transfer to another school. When I got to know him, I realized he wasn't a problem child after all. In fact, he was working several part-time jobs where he could cover his living expenses. His relatives took him in when his parents died, so he had to make money to support himself. He couldn't attend school every day, but he was motivated to study. That's why I decided to tutor him. After I started working with him, his grades started to improve, slowly but surely. But I was told that it was wrong to only help certain students and not others. Then a strange rumor about him being a juvenile delinquent began to circulate, and on top of that, I got called into the principal's office. He threatened me, saying that I'd be dismissed if I continued to tutor Takase-san. Oh, damn. How terrible. Fuck, that's fucked up. Yeah. But could you say it? But you could say the same about me. I got scared of losing my job and having rumors spread about me, so I canceled our upcoming tutoring sessions. Takase-kun was on was on his was on his way to one of his part-time jobs when I told him, of all the days, it was New Year's Eve, and it had been pouring rain all day, and he died in a car crash. He sounded so depressed when I told him that I couldn't tutor him, tutor him anymore. But then he said it was no big deal because he had to work anyways, so I wouldn't feel bad. If only I had kept my promise to him. With 
no one's fault, really. Shit happens. Was he was exhausted from the tutoring sessions and working all his part-time jobs. His guardians blamed me for the accident, saying it was my fault that he was so tired. They said they were going to sue me and take the issue to the media and the Board of Education. I wouldn't have been accused of a crime, but if word had gotten out, the school would have been done for. I wanted to continue teaching no matter what, so I ended up paying them the apology money so they wouldn't sue me for anything. And you're like, you're cool with that? Like, that's a little fucked up. It was my indecisiveness that backed him into a corner, and I blame myself every day. I know paying them isn't going to bring him back, but it's the only way I can atone for my sins. It seems like his guardians are satisfied with our arrangement, so... See? Nothing good ever comes from being involved with me. I have to keep my distance to avoid hurting others, so I don't meddle in, in my students' lives. I've been coming here because of a random twist of fate, but we should say goodbye as well. Uh, it's a little late now. Karusukan, you're really not to type the back down, are you? I guess we're in this together now that I've told you my whole story, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll see what I can do about the other teachers so you get free periods with them too. I look forward to continue our relationship. You see, like, this doesn't skeeze me out. Like, like, yeah, the circumstance is skeezy, but this, this moment doesn't bother me yet. Right? Because... You could make the the you could make the logical leap that everything that's happened between us has been just a business thing, right? This is all business, right? I'm paying her for a service. She comes and does the service. So there really isn't a conflict of interest here. Yes, I am her student, but it's not a conflict yet. I mean, I don't know how Japan really is and whether or not they really give a shit about what you do in your spare time when you're not at work. I personally think that's a little fucked up, but I mean, a, ge a Japanese game made by Japanese developers taking place in Japan, not like an imaginary place, but like actual Japan, I, I kind of have to believe that like this shit isn't that far off, All right. which only further confirms that Japan sounds like a terrible place to live. Like, that's the only thing I draw from this game, is that Japan is a miserable, terrible place to live. Alrighty, time to time to clean. I'm going to put more, en more energy into it than usual today. Oh my, this room is so dusty. Even though I wipe the place squeaky clean every visit. Well, I guess that's all for you, Master. I'll work hard to earn my keep. Maybe we'd better be better off tearing this place down than you tearing this place down than trying to clean it. Well, the shabby, I mean, the the chicness of this room is truly its charm. So let's keep it as it is. All right, I have to go. Thank you so much. All right. This is so soul draining. I'm just gonna talk normally. No point in making sales calls this late anyways. By the way, I've always wanted to ask, but do you live in that cafe? Do you live in that cafe right now? There's always this nice curry smell around the place. Do you get to eat that place curry every day? Uh, you want some? Ooh, then I can serve. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, that was a joke, but God, I could really go for some homemade curry right now. Ugh. Sorry, I can't seem to shake this cough. I've been so busy lately. Okay, so don't stay up too late. Night. You know, I'm probably going to get in a lot of trouble for that last rant, but I don't care. I'm standing by what I said. Uh-oh. They were asking if you've made any lifestyle changes recently. Huh? Huh? I gave them a suitable enough answer, but is there some kind of issue at school? No, it's nothing. I'm sorry to worry you. 
Hey. You've been coming home late these days. I doubt you would do such a thing, but try to avoid wandering on Shibuya at late night. I've heard stories of girls your age throwing their lives away out there. Getting wrapped up in shady deals, blackmailed into sex work. I've heard rumors about that as well. People have been mentioning it at school. These aren't mere rumors. I know of I know of a few such cases. Hmm. Well, it should be nothing for you to worry about. Just concentrate on your studies for now. They're unforgivable. Yeah, and you're wasting your time chasing our asses down, bitch. Like, damn. You think we're the problem? Shit, we are the good guys. You know, did that reporter get in touch with you yet? We only just emailed her the other day. Why are you so hasty? I don't know. I've been looking in. I've been looking for info, but I can't find a damn thing. We only got two weeks, man. <laughs> Duh, we're in a hurry. To be more precise, it's ten days. We ain't even gonna have that much time, even if we start right after she responds. Looks like this battle will have to be a quick one then. We must consider what we do in case she fails to respond entirely. Hey, don't jinx this. I'm, I'm merely discussing all possible outcomes. Ain't you nervous about this? Nervousness will not help us solve anything at this point. Were that, were that the solution to a problem, I would be much more quicker to turn to panic. Wow, he's like some kind of philosopher. I think he's just an idiot. <laughs> oh, goodness. Nijima Senpai, aren't you going to help me? Oh. Oh, this fucker's back. Damn, he went he went to the Well what can she do? She's not the cops, nigga. Like what do you want her to do about it? Like, your school ain't gonna save you, nigga. You took you took the money. You took the money, you spent it, and now they want their money back. I mean, yeah, it's fucked up, but you fucked yourself on this one. You said you would keep it a secret, but rumors have started getting out. Wait, you didn't leak that information, did you? Calm down. They're still targeting you? Even that delinquent found out. He might try and threaten me, too. Why is this happening to me? I can't afford to keep paying. I found some clues regarding your incident. I just need you to wait a bit longer. You're really gonna help? Everyone thinks you're just doing it for a letter of recommendation. That is not true. My goal here is to protect the students of this school. Please, please hurry. <sighs> well, then. we'll just have to wait for any word. Let's just prepare, let's just prepare the plan in the meanwhile. I'm sorry to bother you while you were expecting information from that journalist. However, do you remember that thread about a group of burglars in Shibuya? It seems the one who posted about his brother is a student at my school. And so after some prodding, I was able to pry a few more details out of him. Alright, I was actually wondering about that. It didn't sound like they had anything to do with the mafia we've been chasing. Indeed. Now I was able to ascertain his, name, his brother's name, Kazuya Makigami. Dude, it's freaking crazy that someone and in, someone involved in that shit goes to your school. Nice going, Yusuke. And we even found a name of the guy we're looking for. That's super awesome. All we gotta do now is punish him in mementos. This burglar guy isn't gonna be near as scary as the mafia. He's just a plain dude, right? We'll show him what being a phantom thief is really about. It seems seems we we're rather unanimous then. We can discuss the further details at the hideout. Hmm. Phantom thieves versus burglary ring. All right, we're not doing that today, though. Don't don't get don't get your fucking hopes up. We're not doing that at all. First things first, we're gonna go to the library. Hello. What would you like? I need to return a book. Thank you. What would you like? And now we're gonna go borrow a book. Uh, Zoro the Outlaw is what we're borrowing now. Here. Hmm. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, we're gonna go to the underground walkway. Because we're gonna be meeting up with Yusuke and beginning the Emperor Confidant today. Hello. 
Ah, Kira, this station is always full of people. It serves as the perfect spot for people watching. And by the way, do you have any business here today? Actually, I came to see you. Huh. You must have a wealth of free time if that's your decision. May I get a word in? I would like to speak with you. Akira, do you have time? Oh, sure. Let's talk, dude. Do you remember how I mentioned I need na Men remember how I mentioned my need to understand the heart? Well, I am having a hard time grasping grasping it. How will I be able to reach the truth of pure, of pure beauty? Akira, what should I paint to capture the contents of the heart? Ah, uh, mementos. Ah, I see. Mementos. The desire that emanates from that place is the root of humanity. Incredible. You honestly, you honestly have a unique perspective on things. With that de destination in mind, let us make haste. The fuck you gonna draw, nigga? Shit. Place is creepy as fuck. What, you, what are we going down here for? This distorted realm, teeming with shadows, the physical embodiment of the desires of the human heart. The same thing which brought forth the beauty of Sayuri can create such morbid fabrications. But I actually find that aspect to be quite fascinating. The heart's akin to an abyss. Now, regarding the source of my slump, I actually have an idea. In the other dimension, I saw, perver I saw the perversion of Madarame's heart. At that moment, the art realm I had so much faith in was distorted by greed and unchecked desires. That is when the true ugliness of the world became clear to me. And from that point forward, my brush has been stayed by crippling hesitation. <sighs> Does pure beauty truly exist? And if so, can hands tainted by Madarame's depravity truly capture it? Considering such intense questions only served to distance me from reality. Doubt filled my mind. I struggled to find a reason to move my brush again. And honestly, I still have yet to discover a suitable answer. What is the matter? Have you been overcome by the ur by an urge to paint? Uh, sure, give me your brush. Please do not rush me. I only have a little. I only need a little more time. The lingering uncertainty present in this place seems to be sharpening my senses. I feel a revelation approaching. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Inspiration has struck. That must be it. Such brilliant composition. Ah, oh, my heart, it races. Hmm. How inelegant. You wish to carry out your distorted, your distorted will, foolish shadow? Let's go. I shall cut you down for interrupting my work. Yo, Yosuke has the most indignant part, indignant point of a personality, man. Damn, they got looking fresh as fuck right now. God damn. They got my ass looking fresh. Do I have um, Magaru? I don't think I do have Magaru. No, I just have Garu. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to hit. I don't want to. Well, I guess this is like the only fight I'm gonna actually have to do, right? So I guess it's not that big of a deal if I have to just hit you all. Fuck it. Let's go. You're mine. Persona. Fuck. I fucked up. I fucked up. Do I have anything to hit them? I do. <laughs> nice. Was what I was expecting, but you know what? It works. It seems I've become too passionate. I'm glad you were here. You have my thanks. You're like Theo. I was referring to Van Gogh's brother, Theo. Van Gogh did not achieve fame in his lifetime, but found an admirer and supporter in his brother. Well, there aren't many who are willing to deal with my eccentricity. By the way, What's in your hand? A card? 
It's the blank card the shadow dropped. Hmm. Whenever I see blank paper, I have the urge to draw something on it. May I? Satisfactory result. Well, what do you think? Not bad, wouldn't you say? Soon enough, my slump will be a thing of. Oh, recon. My picture turned into a real skill con? Oh, that'll be. This will be useful. Indeed. Would you mind helping me further? If I can overcome this slump. I should be able to aid our group like earlier. Uh, perhaps even more so. I know. Why don't we act as the thieves we are and strike a deal? Let's do it. It's a deal then. I can sense Yusuke's trust in me. Why is this one triggering, Sai? Kind of weird for her to be triggered by this. Why is this so important? Multiple cards were discovered among your belongings, replicas of the same design. I don't have a clue how these cards were used, but someone proficient in the arts was close to you. What were you having this person do? Draw your sister for me naked. shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Emperor Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Alright, allows Yusuke to duplicate skill cards. Nice. Right. You can now ask Yusuke to use his duplication ability to make you copies of skill cards. To copy a, to copy a skill card, give Yusuke a blank card in the card you want to copy. Both cards will be available for you to pick up the next day. The blank card will be transformed to create a new skill card. Yusuke will return both new and original cards to you. Blank cards can be obtained from search objects and mementos. Try to find as many as you can. We've done enough for today. I've completed a rough sketch. I'll finish this back at the dorm. I'll contact you once it's done. I'm in your debt. Thank you for all your assistance today. You helped me discover some truly wonderful inspiration. I must say, I never expected my art skills would uh, prove to be useful to the Phantom Thieves. I have to hold up my end of the deal, so I shall perform to the best of my ability. You only need ask. Thanks. I should be the one thanking you. Without your help, I would not have f finished today's piece. Now we should be heading back. I have to. F I have to. F I have to apply the finishing touches as soon as possible. Ha! Huh. For the first time in a long while, my brush will dance again. See you. Ah, the journalist responded to me. The crossroads bar. This is from that journalist, right? She wants to meet you there now? Looks like this crossroads place is in Shinjuku. A meetup in Shinjuku. That's the spirit. Try not to freak out just because Shinjuku's the nightlife district, okay? You should send everyone a message and let them know what you're up to. Shinjuku at night, eh? That sounds rather dangerous. Where should we meet up? Stand by, on. It'll be easier to move around with less of us. My apologies, I don't have the money to take the train there. Then you're on standby too. Me and Akira will go, alright? Got it. If Akira's going, I guess there's no need to worry. We'll leave you to it then. Well, that's that. Let's meet up in Shibuya. Be careful, you two. I shall be sure to save money for situations like this from now on. 
Wait, are you gonna go in your school uniform? It would be bad for you to stand out. You should change before you go. You're in your uniform? Huh? No choice. I didn't have the time to go home. People aren't gonna notice anyways with this t-shirt over it. Looking good, bruh. That's not the issue. <laughs> you bunch of idiots. I'm just saying now. I won't be to blame when you get caught by the cops. Don't worry about it. That place ain't so different from Shibuya. I'll guide you. We're going to Shinjuku. We should probably hop on the JL. Just get out of this building, and then the ticket gate should be on the right. It's go time. Is this really going to be okay? You better hope it is. Oh, downstairs. Okay. Hey. Nigga, I don't know these fucking train lines and shit, dude. This is your thing. Oh, <laughs> JL. Okay, fair enough. Come on, man. Well, which one's the fucking JL, dude? Is, uh, I guess this might be it, right? Yeah. All right, fair enough. This is it. Shinjuku, a hot spot of Tokyo known for its nightlife and downtown shopping. Bars open to minors. Even if you're not old enough to drink, you are welcome to sit and chat. All right. Nice. Hey. Shinjuku's outside of the area where your commuter pass works, right? You'll have to pay a fare. Oh, shit, that's nothing. Whoa. Well, yeah, at night this place is bright as hell. I guess that's Shinjuku for you. Stop looking around so much. You look like a damn tourist. Whoa. I was just trying to find a place where we're looking for. Crossroads Bar is right up ahead. I'm sure we'll get there if we keep going straight. Uh, is this the this is the moment people got like really upset about. Sorry, buddy. I got shit to do. You have a moment? Yeah, sure. Are you a student? You shouldn't be out this late. Hey, wait. We uh, graduated a long time ago. Well, we're adults, you know. Hmm? Are you a friend of his? Oh, wait a second. I've seen the pattern on those pants before. Maybe on the news. Oh, yeah. It was on that segment about the teacher who was harassing kids. Is that a school uniform? Shit. Now, you kids have got to be high schoolers. Come with me. Shoot. This is why I said uniforms were a bad idea. Let's run! How much longer until we get there? Hey, it ain't our fault we had to deal with that detour. Our school's getting real famous. Good job, my dude. Good job. Excuse me. Oh, hello. For the blonde one, I can sense impending woman troubles, or perhaps it's something else. In any case, horrible disaster is coming for you. Please let me examine your future further. What? Me? Yes. I suggest you get your fortune told. What I say will surely come to pass. Uh, more of this shit. Sorry, but we're in a hurry. And I don't really believe in that stuff anyways. I see. My apologies. However, if you change your mind, I'll be waiting here in this spot at night. May your fortunes be well. Sweetheart, I will be back for you. Don't you worry about that.
Bar Crossroads. This is it. Whoa, man. We ain't old enough to hang out here. You sure this is the place? Beer, whiskey, wine. Looks like nighttime is bar time. Going in our uniforms is probably a bad idea. Uh, we got caught last time, too. I came all the way to Shinjuku and can't even go in? No, you shouldn't wear your uniform, bitch. Damn. Little time somewhere nearby. Just let me know when you're done. Welcome, welcome. How old are you, boy? Sorry, Lala-chan. He's with me. Ooh, you picked up a real young one this time. Just don't let a minor drink alcohol, okay? Lala-chan, I'm gonna borrow the seats in the back. Go on back there. I'll treat you to some water. Ah, oh, she reeks of booze. <laughs> what a surprise. I thought you were joking, yet here you are. I respect that bravery, so I'll listen to what you have to say. Well, what do you want to know? Oh. Why that? Hmm. Well, I do happen to know something about that. I could tell you, but... Do you know the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? You know, that case the public has been focused on lately. I was pursuing the issue of people randomly entering into a shutdown state, but I'm lacking intel. That's why I'm currently looking for new material to write about. So, do you have any info on these Phantom Thieves? Are those your terms? <laughs> Something like that. You're a Shujin kid, right? I remember you wearing their uniform the last time we met. I thought maybe you might have some insider knowledge on the Phantom Thieves because of it. Their first incident was that of Kamoshida, you know? Ideally, I'd like to get some exclusive coverage from a student who suffered Kamoshida's abuse. I would love an introduction if you know of someone who fits the bill. Seems both you and I can't really do our stuff out in the open, so... What do you say? Hmm... A student who suffered from abuse. Oh, what about that Mishima guy? He always seems to be on the side of the Phantom Thieves. I know someone. It's a deal then. Send me your friend's contact info later. You'd better be thankful. My quick wit is the only reason we're getting this far. Now that I think about it, those mental shutdowns and the Phantom Thieves both seem supernatural. Could they be related? Or am I just hoping for a coincidence? Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to talk to myself on occasion. Well then, you can't exactly consider this an upfront payment, but... Junya Kaneshiro. I think he's probably the guy you're looking for. Yes! You should check him out further if you're curious. But I'm not responsible for what happens next. Lala-chan, can I get a refill for this kid? We need to make a toast to our new acquaintance. It'll be a problem if you stay too long. You should leave right after you finish your water. Yes! All right, we did it. We got the info we need on our target. Let's meet up with Ryuji. How'd it go? Nailed it. For real? Awesome. And anyway, we should meet up ASAP. I'll be in front of the movie theater, so head on over. It's kind of the, the it's that kind of open area you pass on your way to the bar. So we just have to go back the way we came, huh? Hey. Hey, I'm tired of waiting. You get any during our next target? For real? Junior Kanashira? Not so loud. Juna, Kanashiro, and enter. All right. There we go. Okay, now we just got to get some info on the distortion. Once we know that, it's palace time. Wait. Let's try it tomorrow. It'll be better when we have everybody the whole team together. Right. I'll tell everyone to meet up in Shibuya. Dude. This is totally crazy, though. It's a huge catch. I'm totally pumped. 
Ooh, you're right. He would be a natural. But, uh, but a graphic tee with plaid pants? Ugh, kill me now. Whoa, who the hell are they? Oh, hell has nothing to do with it, honey. I'm, a, I'm Angel straight out of heaven. And I'm Julian. Julie, if you're feeling saucy. What a cutie. You'd never guess he was into the drag scene. I say we show him the ropes. You can't deny it. We saw you peeking into crossroads. Well, sweetie, if you're curious, we'll help you help you look divine. Whoa. Hey, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not like that. Dude, help. Tell them tell them we're just investigating or something. Can't blow our cover. Hey. The mission's over. We don't even have a cover anymore. <laughs> Oh, honey, you've got the chutzpah and those cheekbones. I love it. That's what it takes to be a star. Just follow my lead stud. We're going to put your name in lights. And I know just the dress for you. Um. Yeah, you know. In hindsight, I... I think this is a little less terrible than it was in the original. Did you find any clues? I have a name. You did it! Well then, let's meet up at the hideout tomorrow. Understood. Ryuji seems to be absent from this conversation. Should we contact him separately? I'm sure he'll figure out when he checks his phone later. We're pretty much already in Kaneshiro's palace. That was surprisingly easy. <sighs> Shinju... Shinjuku sure was crazy, huh? <laughs> hey, some Shiro just messaged me saying you told her about me. She said she was interested in me. What's this about? What kind of girl is Ohai of Oyasan? She cute? Is she hot? Total, totally cute. Seriously? Oyasan. She said she wanted to talk. Wanted to talk. How much more forward can a girl get? Is this really what I think it is? Could it be? You'll find out. Man, I'm so looking forward to this. This is all thanks to you. I feel like starting the fan site. I'm starting to feel like the fan site really changed me. Anyways, I can handle this. You introduced me, so I'll make sure I don't embarrass you. And I'll totally let you know if we end up hooking up. <laughs> oh, you poor child. You have no idea what I've gotten you into. I'll just add this. Anyways, everybody, I will see you all next time with more Persona 5 Royal. We're going to save it right here. And I will see you all next time, everybody. Sorry for this episode going on a little longer than usual, but uh, <laughs> I had to reset, so that's how it goes. Until then, everybody, stay tuned, and next time we'll be entering Junior Kaneshiro's Palace. Stay tuned! <laughs>